What's poppin' YouTube? I'm back with another surf update. This is from Lisa Evers from Fox 5. She's confirming that the feds did arrest surf on a RICO charge. So I'm gonna let Lisa Evers explain all the details cause she got the nitty gritty details of what went down when the feds showed up. So I'm gonna let y'all hear that and then we're gonna talk after the video. I'm gone. Hey everybody, I wanted to share with you some news that I just confirmed. And unfortunately, it is not good news for Sue Surf. I have learned from various sources that he was arrested today around 1.30 this afternoon by the U.S. Marshal Service, New York, New Jersey Regional Fugitive Task Force. Now, I'm going to read from my notes because I want to make sure that I give this to you absolutely correctly. And I literally just got off the last phone call that I had to make to try to confirm this for you. So they're, they're saying that Sue Surf was picked up in Jersey City. He was at a home there with a female. The uh, sources say that the house was surrounded by law enforcement and that Sue Surf with the female tried to go out the back door. But then when they went outside, they saw that there was a lot of law enforcement because you know what kind of uh, presence are gonna take on a case like this. So they, Sue Surf and the woman went back into the house and they stayed in there for about an hour in what the law enforcement officials call a barricade. They say he was barricaded inside. It doesn't mean that he was nailing down doors or windows or anything like that. It just means he was inside the home and not willing to come out right away. So they called in these hostage negotiators. They're called crisis negotiators from the U.S. Marshals, uh, New York, New Jersey Fugitive Task Force. They talked with him for a while, quite a while apparently, but then he peacefully surrendered. So they took him into custody and it appears right now that he w is wanted by the DEA on a federal RICO case. I'm gonna to try to get more information about that. Um, and that right now he was taken to Essex County Jail, which is where he's being held. As some of you may know, that if you are facing a federal charge in New Jersey and Newark, the feds have a contract with the Essex County Jail and they keep their detainees there. So right now, Sue Surf is under arrest. He is at the Essex County Jail. He's expected to go before a judge in federal court in Newark uh, sometime tomorrow. I'm gonna to be confirming that for you as well. But again, just to confirm, he was arrested. It is in connection with a RICO case, a DEA RICO case. He's in Essex County Jail. He is uh, apparently in okay condition and he was taken into custody this afternoon and we're finding out more about that. But just to confirm what everybody has been asking me about an update, this is what the latest is. He's okay, but he's detained. He's in Essex County Jail facing federal RICO charges. We'll find out more what that's all about for you and bring you that news once I have it confirmed. He's expected to go before the judge tomorrow in the federal court that would be in downtown Newark. I'm gonna find out about that and confirm all that as well. So that's the latest on Sue Surf. And uh, let's remember that no matter how bad it looks for people, you are innocent until proven guilty. Pretty sad. I mean, imagine your whole crib or wherever you're staying, just surrounded by feds and uh, you know, nowhere to run nowhere to hide luckily he's safe you know they didn't rough him up or nothing um so she's lisa's saying it's a federal rico federal so what's the chances of him beating a federal rico never know he might he might be able to he might be able to beat it but we won't know much we we, we still a lot of details we don't we don't know anything about actually what the charge is like what's the um you know what's in what's the fed what's the rico in connection with you know what is it um and i'm sure lisa will probably update everybody on that pretty soon but it's like you know we still don't know okay what was he involved with or were they were they saying he's involved in affiliated in and you know what's his involvement we don't we don't know that that's an unanswered question it's a lot of speculation there's a lot of things he alluded to online before he was arrested um but again that's just him alluding to things being very vague so you can't really piece it together and say it's a, a, a actual source or correct accurate information it's just like hey he was saying this about some guys that he was running with a long time ago that really wasn't his friends they got jammed up and they start telling that's how surf eventually got jammed up and now we now we're here so 
we're gonna have to find out soon if this is something surfs uh can beat and then if he can't beat it how many how many years is he looking at how's that gonna affect his career his life you know personal life and professional that's that's all the stuff that's probably going through surf's mind of like you know how's he gonna beat this rico and if he can't beat it how's he gonna how's he gonna eat the time and come back bigger and better uh yeah so that's confirmed it's confirmed now i know a lot of people already knew this was coming but a lot of people didn't want to believe it they were saying this is not happening he's it's all rumor he's not involved in it it's nothing and if, as you can see when you look outside and it's a and the feds is knocking you already know it's, it's it gets really real so yeah let me know what you guys think and i'll see you on the next one i'm out